As we enter LGBTQ Pride Month, 70 Georgia churches are being allowed to disaffiliate from the United Methodist Church over the church's stance on LGBTQ inclusion. New tonight, we spoke with a pastor about what this means for the conference. Been a lack of respect and the ugly words. And in all honesty, uh, I think it's only going to get worse. You know, and how can we how can we ever take the low road in the church? A historic yet difficult moment. Pastor Glenn Hannigan was in the room Thursday as the North Georgia Conference voted to allow 70 churches to disaffiliate from the United Methodist Church. Honestly, it was very hard to sit through. And it felt as much like a wake as anything. So for us, it, it's not a celebration. You know, hooray, we're free. It's it's more like we're just sorry that this had to happen. Hannigan has been the pastor at Ebenezer Methodist Church in Roswell since 2010. In 2019, the General Conference voted to alter its stance on homosexuality to be more welcoming. We have uh, LGBTQ members of our church. Uh, I can't tell you the feeling it was when we voted unanimously. North Georgia Conference officials say churches requesting disaffiliation make up about 9% of churches in the conference and represent about 3% of the membership of the United Methodist Conference as a whole. Hannigan hopes this move will bring his congregation even closer. The relief in the church and the joy was not necessarily that we were going to disaffiliate, which is a painful decision. The joy was we were together and that, and that we haven't lost anybody, and as far as I'm concerned, we're not going to. In a statement, the conference writes that while it doesn't want any church to disaffiliate, it is committed to a clear and healthy process, and that it is painful when there's a division in the church. It's sort of a knee-jerk reaction is that we're doing this, is that we're, you know, either trying to keep people out, we're doing the opposite. We want to create a place where people are welcome and they feel loved. The disaffiliation agreement allows churches to leave the denomination through the end of 2023.